Hey, YouTube. So, I was going to do a different video today about No Name and J. Cole, but I think I have to do this because this is more pressing. I usually don't like to make response videos. I, I don't want to be that type of, of, of YouTuber or whatever, content creator, but like I can't let this shit slide. So, suck, suck my opinion. This is for you. So, do you guys want to first say, I do like your channel. I do like the your style. I do like the style of your content. I think you give a perspective that you just don't see a lot on YouTube. And I think that's valuable. That being said, I got to hold your ass accountable because that shit that you, that last video you did was garbage, straight up. Um, and I'll tell you exactly why. So, in the video, you talk about how strong women, uh, the strong women, like, is a narrative that is put forth for capitalism to make women more productive and to discriminate against what you said was feminine women, but the way you said it was pretty misogynistic uh, and discriminate against mothers. But I want to get to that. I'll get to that later because there's a, there's a there's an actual thing to actually talk about that. So yeah, the video was played with misogyny. I think that's that's just the first thing going. But a lot of the, a lot of the views that you're spouting that you think are like natural or not true. And I think the reason why is that if you had the assumption that the natural state of women are to be mothers and to be like voluptuous, it's just, that's just gross, dude. Like, well, don't call, please don't call like, yes, women who have bigger bodies, women who have larger breasts, like then that please don't call them like, we could, please don't call them voluptuous. That shit is just sexualizing them. Like, but you, but what you're talking about. You're, you're, you're trying to say is the discrimination against that and the push for strong women uh, is, is, is a capitalist scheme, right? It's a scheme of capitalism. That's wrong. Um, but I will tell you what is thing. So the idea that women, even so, uh, in the first place, having a specific set role in, in, the, in the household, that's the capitalist scheme. That's the thing that was created by capitalism. It was a, the, the, idea, the idea of women that the, their only role is 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 to look good and be mothers that is a aspect of european society that was brought over to here and that was repurposed for capitalist need to reproduce to repro to for capitalists to propagate itself they needed someone they they needed that division of labor to make more children to produce more workers and they needed someone to take care of that but also not pay them the, the, what you're talking about now right what you're seeing right now is a the liberal section of capitalism co-opting feminist movements that's what you're seeing you, you're seeing you're seeing you're seeing what the strong woman is is there is there re, re reappropriating what was what what was a was what is a a feminist struggle to better serve capitalism that's not, it's not capitalism creating strong women. No, that's just, that's not true. See, you understand that the first place why women wanted a work person in the first place was because when women were just stay-at-home mothers, they didn't have any rights and didn't have any material um, access. So they were at the whims of either their husbands or the state. They had no power of their own. And that led to a lot of abuse. Especially if they had children, then they were they then they had no choice but to stay with the with the husband who owned the, who made the most money, obviously in that society, which is a patriarchal. Like I think you understand, you're not understanding the patriarchal angle of this. Capitalism is more is isn't just neutral. Capitalism is patriarchal and it is racial. So like when they pushed to be into the workplace, that was a push to more material access because that's the only way you're gonna get material access. The same way in civil rights, it was jobs and justice because there's an understanding that like you know mat material gains material conditions improving on them is how you get uh to a more free you, to, you get more freedom you get more abilities to do things because that's what we because it's the system we live in that's the same thing with women in the workplace but obviously like capitalism does like capitalism did then and capitalism does now it adapts and the liberal part of capitalism is very good at adapting and taking working class movements and putting them into this climbing the ladder uh, capitalist rat, rat race. It, it's able to do that. 
Also, this idea that, like, you brought up She-Ra, and so now you got to get into lesbophobia now. You, so this idea that gender non-conforming women are more, are pushing down society because, against or a traditional women or traditional motherhoods. That's not true. That's just straight up false. Like, this society is incredibly still patriarchal. Like, if you read, if you just engage a little bit with feminist theory, especially black feminist theory, you know this society is extremely patriarchal. Like, the little stuff here and there does not outweigh the overwhelming evidence that women who conform to traditional gender roles are benefited more than women who push against those roles. Women who push against those roles are met with extreme violence. They're they're not hired at higher rates. I don't know what that's all about. Like, I, don't, I don't know where this, I don't know where data you're pulling from. That's just not true. You know, they're still discriminated against in the job force. Core women are still discriminated in the job force. Um... Like it's just it's not this is not this thing where like society is is putting them higher up, um, and also like in the jobs, I'm pretty sure still require women outside of their actual credentials, outside of their actual capabilities to look a certain way, and that way is still wrapped up in traditional feminine uh, traditional ideas of femininity. And that's just like like I'm pretty sure that's still the thing. And like the little, the, the, the difference you see right now, the, the contradiction in society you see right now isn't the main dominant narrative. Lastly, I want to talk about the mother issue because yes, mothers are discriminated in the workplace and capitalism, but that's not, uh, that's not as opposed to, to, to the idea of, of, I guess, androgynous women or women who don't have children. I don't, you gotta, like the fact that you even tied that like traditional femininity to having children is this weird to me. It still, it still shows me you still have a lot of reactionary beliefs. But more to the point, yeah, mothers are actually discriminated, but that's not because they're less productive. If anything, they're more productive because because they still do labor in taking care of children. It's just that labor isn't paid. Like you understand that capitalism needs a group, a set side of people to be poorer than some set side of people. They need that competition. That's a that's that that poverty be having making less money, having less material access. That is a uh, that is a, an effect of capitalism. That's a necess, that's necessity by capitalism. But that's not done randomly. It's done under racial and gender lines. That's why black people. That's and that's why black women will you know matter their skill, matter their education will be will have less work. They will have less job opportunities. That's on purpose, especially if they're mothers. Um, and also the fact that people who are mothers also still work. Yeah, we could talk about whether or not it's good for the child and all that, but like you understand that like people mothers still work, and the reason that it's so is because capitalism is we're in a late stage of capitalism that is that is failing. So the idea that one person can make enough money for a whole entire family no longer can be recruit like that's that's no longer feasible. That that's that's a, that's something that's never coming back. Not unless you put like social democratic reforms or something so i i, I spent a lot of time i feel like i rambled a little bit and i feel like i've I've, what I've tried to basically explain um what i kind of want to listen to you suck i mean if you want to want to talk if you want to discuss stuff we can discuss it i have no problem like this isn't gonna be a debate i just want to talk because i still value your stuff you need to engage in theory but yeah i get like your whole thing is like theory is boring and like you want to talk to the common person you need to talk to them where they're at their experiences but when you don't have the innate experience of something Typically, your analysis is going to be wrong if you don't engage with the people who actually experience that or the people who study it. Like, you may not like theory, but you're going to need to start because you can't be making self videos like this. This, this stuff, this, that was, a, that was a, one of the worst videos I've ever seen you made. And it's extremely harmful because you're, you're just, all you're doing is re regurgitating uh, patriarchal and misogynistic lines of what the women should be and how modern and like you, you yeah you're using capitalism but that's no different from how like MRAs put the modern society uh has has damaged women because women's women are happiest in the home stop that shit like please engage with feminists specifically black feminist theory um uh, and I can give you some sources if you want uh you know hey you know how to reach me and yeah that's it